look at this, beautiful. I can't resist taking a bite of one of these cookies. I hope you'll enjoy them as much as I do. Well, I've been thinking a lot about France these days, and so I decided that I would make a black and white cookie with the French sablé, which is really a, my grandmother's Merbetag butter cookie. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to cream the butter and cut it up into little pieces. There's nothing better than good butter in a cookie. I've tried to find the origins of black and white cookies. It's very hard, but it's definitely a New York thing. And here's the sugar. Separate an egg and use the yolk. For some reason, they only have yolk in these cookies. Add a little bit of salt, a little bit of vanilla. Keep it going for a while. And then I'm going to add the flour. And if needed, I don't think this really needs any water, but if it's needed, you can add water to it. You see how it comes together in a ball? Then you take it off the mixer. It's nice and smooth. The best thing about butter cookies is tasting the dough. Mm. Okay, so this really holds together beautifully. Beautiful dough. I always roll it in a little bit of flour. Now we're, I'm going to cut it in half. By the way, this is a great thing. These, these bread cutters, indispensable. I'm going to cover it and refrigerate it so that I can roll it out and get it sits for a little bit. Okay, so this has been refrigerated for a few hours. And you, what you want to do is soften it. Okay, now, this is a little trick that I learned from Julia Child. If you want a softer dough when it's cold, just do a few little pounds of this and then roll it out. Roll this out about an eighth of, you don't want it to be too, too thin. Roll it out, and that's it. So then what you do is you bake them. Now we're going to make the black and white icing for the French sable cookies. You mix confection sugar with corn syrup. The corn syrup it just adds a little stickiness. It helps it stick to the cookie. Some vanilla, always like vanilla. Lemon juice, just a teaspoon of lemon juice. And then you mix it together with about three tablespoons of water. One, two, three. So here's your icing, okay? And we're going to take half of it and put it in another bowl. Sticky, but you want it to be sticky. Then we're going to add all the chocolate, and this is a good chocolate. So this, we've used Scharfenberg cocoa, um, which is one that I like the best. It really makes a difference in when you're using cocoa if you use a good quality. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of water to this. But you want it to be really chocolatey. Oh, 
Oh, they smell so buttery and good. Look at this, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, we've let them cool and we're going to decorate them with our black and white topping. I can't resist taking a bite of one of these cookies. So let's go. Mm. So good. So buttery. Bon appétit tout le monde.